In this video, we will be finding out what are the gas laws, we will be seeing how each law relates to the other, and we will be finding out or we will be exploring also the uh, gas laws. Okay, so since we are since we'll be talking about the gas laws, it would make sense for us to take a quick minute and actually uh, define what a gas is. So a gas from what you might remember from earlier discuss discussion is simply one of the states of matter in which the particles are very loosely packed. And here we have an, uh, an image of how gas particles are arranged in a gas. So as you can see, we have um, the particles are very loosely packed and they are able to move about freely and by them moving about, the chances of collision with other gas molecules is very much likely. So, what are the gas laws? There are three laws which governs gases and each is related to the kinetic theory. Now, we'll be exploring each law in detail, but let's just uh, define what the kinetic theory of matter is. So, the kinetic, the kinetic theory of matter states that matter is composed of many tiny particles which are in constant random motion. So, that is some, something important for us to consider when we look at the gas laws. So the first law which we look at is known as the Boyle's law. So Boyle's law deals with gases that are held at a constant temperature. And this law states that for a fixed mass of gas held at a constant temperature, the volume of the gas is inversely proportional to the pressure of the gas. So here we have an image, right, and as you can see on the our left side here, let's say we have a gas that is uh, enclosed in a container with a lid on the top. And that lid is movable. And if we were to apply a force on the lid, causing the lid to move down, as we are seeing on the right, what will happen is that the volume of the gas, as you can see, will be decreased. And while that volume is decreased, the pressure of the gas increases so tip, so basically what happens is that as the volume goes down the pressure goes up and that's where we get that inverse inverse proportionality uh happening so volume goes down pressure goes up if pressure goes down volume goes up and here we have a, a graph which depicts that so as you can see from the graph as volume decreases the pressure increases to the right so as the volume decreases as you go down on the y-axis the pressure actually increases to the right on the x-axis x-axis and as we said it's a inverse proportionality re uh, relationship so we can write it mathematically as p is directly proportional to the inverse of volume so we write as P is directly proportional to 1 over V. Or we can simply write it as P equal 1 over V. So the next law which we look at is the pressure law. And this law governs gases that are held at a constant volume. And the pressure law states that for a fixed mass of gas at a constant volume, the pressure of the gas is directly proportional to the absolute or the Kelvin temperature. So what this is saying is that if we have a gas enclosed in a container, right, um, and the volume of that container, the volume of the gas in that container is not allowed to change. If we were to change the temperature of, the temperature of the gas, the pressure will change. Or if we change the pressure, the temperature will change. And they will, they will all, they both will change in a directly proportional relationship. So if the pressure goes up, then the temperature will go up. If the temperature goes up, the pressure will go up as well. And here we have a depiction of it. So we have the gas arm in a round uh, bottom flask and we apply heat to the to the to the gas. Right? Uh, that application of heat will cause the pressure in the gas to increase and this all ties in with the kinetic theory of matter. Remember we said that 
uh, all matter composed of particles which are in constant random motion so in the air molecules we have all the air particles moving about it in the sides of the 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 flask and causing pressure on the surface of the flask now when we apply heat that heat causes the particles to move faster that faster movement increases the rate of collision on the surface and actually increases the pressure so that's where we have um, the direct proportional relationship so if the temperature increases the pressure increases and here we have a, a graph which actually depicts that so increasing in the, in the temperature causes the volume to increase proportionally and we can write uh, the formula for this this law as p1 over t1 is equal to p2 over t2 where p1 and t1 are the initial pressure and temperature respectively and p2 and t2 are the so our final pressure and temperature respectively the next law which we will explore is Charles law so this law states that for a gas held at a constant pressure the volume of the gas will be directly proportional to the absolute or the Kelvin temperature so here of um, the this law being depicted de being depicted the <laughs> so here we have this law being depicted here so we have um a gas uh both well we have a gas right and uh the it is ex experience a pressure of one atmosphere and let's say we apply heat to that uh gas what will happen is that the heat will cause the volume of the gas to increase and as you can see we increase the temperature from 200 kelvin to 400 kelvin an increase of two so since the pressure is i mean since the temperature is directly proportional to the volume for charles law while the, while the pressure is constant if there's an increase of two in the temperature by a factor of two in the temperature we expect an increase by a factor of two in the volume which we are seeing in this case and here we have a, a graph which actually illustrates this so temperature increases volume increases and this is a directly proportional relationship and we can write this this uh, formula as v1 over t1 is equal to v2 over t2 again where v1 and t1 are the initial uh, volume and temperature and v2 and t2 are the final volume and temperature now we just looked at those uh, three laws now we'll be looking at uh, the combined gas equation which actually uh, put puts together those previous previous three laws so the gas the combined gas equation is a general equation which captures all the three previously mentioned laws so the combined gas equation is only true if the earlier mentioned gas laws are true and it is written mathematically as p1 v1 over t1 is equal to p2 v2 over t2 so this is something that uh, you might want to, to 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 be aware of or to, to 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 have as a part of your formula sheet as well as the previous mentioned equations you can find more great physics tutorials like these over on my website at realgenerobertz.com